Hello everyone, Casual Entertainment here, and after my one week break off of YouTube, I decided to go back to my weekly upload schedule, but pause the Chuck E. Cheese Retrofit series, meaning the meaning we won't be making Chuck E. Cheese Retrofit videos for a little bit. Instead, we are going back to focusing on the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Feeder and Showbiz Pizza Place era. And today we are going to talk about retired stages, meaning these stages are retired and will, are no longer at Chuck E. Cheese places. Starting things off, we got the Portrait Bots. Now, the Portrait Bots wasn't really a stage, but they had animatronics in these small little picture frames across the dining era, and the war breads being in the middle. Now, these bots were oddly horrifying, but Chuck E. Cheese was the opposite of what we see in current day. He had a New York Jersey accent, he smoked, and he constantly insulted his friends. There was also this cat named Crusty the Cat, but he only lasted one year before getting replaced by Mr. Munch. I believe they had three guest stars in the portrait style stage, which was Madame Oinx, Foxy Kowloon, and Helen Henny. I don't have a photo of Madame Oinx, but it is out there if you search it up on Google. Since they were the first, they retired in 1990, meaning we haven't saw these characters in 30 years. We're now moving on to the balcony stage. Little fun fact, the little robots in the balcony stage got introduced in portrait style bots, but moved on to the balcony. Now, the balcony stage only lasted until 2002, but were the best working conditions for Pizza Time Feeder. It had every single guest star, and is the most recognizable stage in Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Feeder era. They were replaced with either a road stage, or a two stage, or a one stage. Like I said, the last one was in 2002. They also had this little tunnel that is called Mr. Munch's Magic Madhouse. There's not that much information on it. I tried looking on Reddit. Um, there's no information. So if anyone has any information, that would be pretty much appreciated. If you tell me in the comments. We're now moving on to the rocker stage. This stage was actually the first stage to have full bodies. Mr. Munch and Pasquale didn't have full bodies, but however, Chuck, Jasper, and Helen Henny had full bodies. There used to be seeding flowers that were meant to replace the warblets, but they didn't last long. If you could tell by the background, this is a house, so it was like a house stage. The last one ever to be exist was in 2022 when 2.0 happened, leaving this stage to be gone forever. The next stage was a like a combination of the rocker stage and the balcony stage. Pretty much, they had the balcony stage bots, but they had a house background. But nobody had like a like a full length body in this one. This one only lasted into two thousand two. It was pretty much just a balcony stage, but with a house background. So there's not much information. However, guest stars went extinct around this time, so only Helen Henny was in this stage. The next stage isn't a Chuck E. Cheese stage, but it was at, like, Showbiz Pizza Place, and uh, for a decent amount of time, Showbiz Pizza Place and Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Feeder was the same company because they got bought off. But this is the Rocket Fire Explosion. If you want to know more about the Rocket Fire Explosion, there's a lot of information. I recommend watching this person named Juno, who talked a lot about this band. But this band went extinct around 1991 in favor for Munch's Make Believe Band. After the Rock of Fire's replacement, there was the Free Stage, but there's only five of these left, so they're about to brief their extinction after 2.0 hits them. And that was all the Chuck E. Cheese stages that left the place in favor for either a dance floor or a new stage. I hope you liked this video, and I just want to announce something. I don't think I'm going to be uploading next week. Or the week after that, because it's around holiday season and I'll spend time with my family. Thank you. Also, if you heard a puppy crying in the background, he's currently in his cage because he did something bad that I don't want to explain, but he doesn't like cages.